Hi, my name is Paul Costner and I'm with the Broadband Academy. Today we're going to talk about the set-top boxes that cable TV service providers offer um, so that you can get their type of uh, service in the channel plan that you pay for. Uh, this first set-top box is a very generic set-top box. All your um, different types of cable TV service providers have these. Uh, your Charter, your Comcast, your Time Warner. Um, and this is a connection point from uh, the coaxial system network, okay? And this connects from the outside plant and then to your TV. So this type of service has a, a barrel connector, F connector that you're gonna come from your cable TV outlet and then it's going to go in and it's going to get recognized by a MAC address or some type of uh, serial number that your service provider offered you when they gave you the set-top box. Okay, that's going to make that, okay, we're going to sync up because you are a customer of ours and here is your channel plan and you can start watching TV. Uh, coming out of this set-top box is just a basic, very generic type of uh, connection. You have a component connection with video and your audio. This is, once again, a very simple set-top box that uh, a lot of service providers offer. The next one I want to talk about is a DVR or PBR, Digital Video Recorder, Personal Video Recorder, that uh, providers offer. And this actually has a hard drive in here, if you can take a look in there. That's a hard drive for you to record and save any type of videos that you want to um, watch later on. Um, the back of this set-top box, once again, has your RF or uh, F connector uh, connection point coming in from your service provider. And then coming out, you have a variety of different uh, means uh, depending on what your TV has for connections. So you can have composite, you have HDMI, um, this is a SATA hard drive, you also have USB connection and an Ethernet connection. Now if there's firmware updates or any type of updates that's what these are normally used for. And uh, the next set-top box that I want to talk about is the IPTV set-top box. With the ITP uh, set-top box, you need some type of broadband service. So you're going to need some type of internet service. Um, I would say normally there's a minimum requirement for these. Um, they all fluctuate, so I don't want to just shoot out any number, but that's something that you want to look at uh, before purchasing to make sure that you have the required amount of bandwidth for this to work. The back of the set-top box is you have going to your TV and HDMI output that's the only type of connection you have for this. You have an audio output, and then you have your ethernet input. So coming from your router, your DSL uh, modem, your cable modem, that's where that would come into play. And then once you have your uh, power connection. How this gets recognized is because your service provider is gonna ask you for a MAC address, okay? And that's where that is. And that's gonna sync up this device, okay, with your MAC address with your service provider. Okay, and whatever you paid for for that month, the uh, uh, subscription, and that's the amount of channels and services you will get. Once again, with IPTV, depending on the service, they have a variety of different things. Some uh, services give you up to 3,000 channels all over the world, okay, plus video on demand and pay per view. Um, these are different types of services that you may want to look into.